Hi, Bill here. I'm still in the land of the living. I'm hoping you're all doing well. I haven't done a video in ages. Um, obviously, COVID and other such things have been able not to do videos. But this is one from Kapow Toys that I ordered last year. They're just releasing them now, even though the film hasn't come out. This is obviously Transformers uh, crossover Top Gun Maverick figure. I've just started releasing them just now from the pre-order when it first went up. So here it is. You can see that's it there. April Top Gun Maverick. And it is there. It's obviously meant to be an F-14 Eagle. I think it's an F-14. I think it is. There's a the side there, Tomcat. Stuff there. There's the back with it coming in to land an aircraft carrier, top gun, intercept lieutenant, jet wash, tango foxtrot, and going vertical, nothing in the bottom, or rescue there, try to make it look like the jet, there's from that angle, there, I think you've seen Evan, so without further ado, let's get the figure opened and see what it's like, okay? Right, here it is out of its plastic prison. As you can see, it's looking really cool. F14 Comcat. It's got that weird pattern on it. I don't know if you can see. To me, it looks like they've just ran it through an actual, you know, printer for a computer and, zzz, 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 and printed that off because it has that kind of. That's the only difference. At least it's got good paint art, dirty paint apps on it, but. Represent uh, dirt and that, but the pattern on it, it just, I don't know if I can actually pick it up in the light there. Looks as if it's just been ran through, a, they've just shoved it through a printer and it's printed it that way. It, it, it's not that great. <laughs> but it's certainly better than the robot mode, which is even less paint apps on it. And there you go, there's F114 there. If the thing would stop going out of focus, there is. Maverick or whatever written there. I can't see whatever else that says. Is it? Uh, whatever else that says there. Same with the other side. You get Maverick and whatever written there. Nice decal on the wing. A couple of decals on the, uh, the tail, sorry. A nice decals on the wings as well. And underneath, very plain. It's <laughs> no pun intended. But, um, yeah, not much going on there. I think it does have landing gear somewhere. I think it does have landing gear. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a landing gear. It's moulded. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a landing gear at the back. The bombs, it just rests in the bombs. There's no landing gear at the back. This one's very loose, but... Um, it can stand there like that, like this, and here's the instructions, it comes with instructions, just a one sheet I think, I think it's printed in, oh it is printed in both sides, printed in both sides, it's very, uh, what do you call it, Robotech, Macross type looking thing, we'll get to something that's like that similar in a minute. And there it is. Uh, so that's looking really cool. And it is the crossover as you can see. If it would zoom in. My, if you've watched me for any considerable time, you know I have problems with my camera zooming in, uh, focusing. So there we go. That's it. And it does come with accessories. See, that's what I mean. It won't focus. It comes with the motorbike, focus, comes with the motorbike, very shiny, in colours, very nice. I'll hold my hand up there so it doesn't focus in the background. Comes with the basketball, again it's detailed. Uh, a hole there for the for holding the hand and the peg, not sure where. Speaking of, there's the hand there with the peg. Swap the hands out. 
And it's a mushroom peg, you just slides off and put that hand on, but I'll show that when, I, when it comes to it. Yep, you've got one for both. If you want it left or right handed. And it's got the peg there to put the ball into. Okay, so that's the accessories it comes with. So, let's do some... What, what, this is similar to, I do have another figure that's a Tomcat. It's actually quite bi bigger. So it does show you size comparison here. And it also has a... It's also the same with the nose cone wheels and it doesn't have... Well, this one does kind of have wheels at the back. Is the Jet Thrilling, Thrilling 30 Generations Jetfire, which is also a Tomcat. I've got that. Yep, it's it's also a Tomcat. You can see the swing wing and all that. So it also is a Tomcat. If it just shows you that. And there. And there is a size comparison difference. So that's that's a leader class size. Uh, so this is slightly smaller than leader, as you're getting a comparison there. So there we go. <coughs> And it does have a swing wing, this does. And same with this, it's a swing wing feature as well. So I think these are, these don't move. But I know these ones fold down, but these don't seem to fold down at all. But there we go, there's a swing wing. I'm open. Again, there you go. Okay, so, get that out the road. And we'll get on to transformation. Just give me a sec. R right, to transform this, first things you've got to do, come to the back here, unpeg it from the back. Okay, there's tabs there, pegs into the back, the feet. So you can unhook these bits, unpeg the bits, swing them like that. You can swing these out, unpeg this bit from the back, it tabs in, whoops, it tabs in, see tabs there, slots there, tab slots, a double hinge, it just sits up there like that, flush against the back, um, you can unhook, unpeg that bit from there, it just tabs in there, again tabs, slots, that kind of thing. Move the legs down. Um, unhook this bit. And this bit actually comes out and forward. And down. Now when it goes down, you push it down and it goes against this button here. What this button here is, it, you get an automorph effect um you can move them but we'll want to do some things with that first but we'll, we'll do the automorph bit and you'll see so you push it down and these bits come out at the side i'll do that again you have to push them in manually bring it down i'll do it again push it down and these bits come out one more time See, they can automorph, so push it right down like that, and that's basically the legs done. So leave them, oh no it isn't. You open them up, you flip these open, and you flip these bits out. Difficult to get in there. I'll get in, I'll get in there with a weapon. I'll do that, get the... You push it down, oh, there goes the ball, you push that down, it clips into place, and you push that down and close the, the flap, or the panel, open that up, pull that out, take one of the weapons, just to give it a, just to grab it, so it's far enough out to pull it out, and do the same with that one. Clip it into place, pull that down, pull the panel closed. That's it. Now that, that, uh, that doesn't lock into place. What you do is you 
is you get the nose cone, do that, and push it forward like that. There's a little notch there that that's supposed to fit into and over. It doesn't stay on there very well. And there's clearance issues. And there is clearance issues uh, when you pull the panel down on the back. But it's supposed to fit in that wee notch there and hold in place. But it's all, a lot of this is just friction. It's the very tight joints, there's nothing loose. So it will hold in place. Right, so this is the bit you've got to do. You've got to rotate this bit first, the, the inner bit, and then you've got to rotate these bits. There's a specific way it goes, and then it'll explain in a minute how you open them out. That's not the way, I don't think, because one way these tabs there don't lock into one of the connectors are supposed to lock into the other way they both lock in I don't I, I've noticed in one video review that um, it, it makes the whole thing backpack moving closer to the body but I didn't notice a difference but I'll show it that way first and you can I can see what I'm talking about so this bit here you push it forward and it sits down on there, like that. Oh, that, that was off screen. So this bit here, pull it forward and I swear, it's on a hinge that you push forward and just sits in the chest like that. Again, it doesn't lock in, so it won't move. This is the bit I'm talking about. So you move it like that, and then, see what I mean? There's clearance issues with it against there, but in the instructions it shows it's sitting against it. But you angle it up so it sits at an angle. It's not straight, it's at an angle. It even shows it in the instructions. See? It's not straight. It, it's sitting at an angle. So make sure you angle it a bit. Now these is what I'm talking about. They're supposed to clip in there. But as you can see, this one won't stay in there. See that? This side, you do it, and it and it will and get it right, and it will actually clip in. See that that hole? Well, well, it does come out, but it does actually hold. It holds this side. You can hear that it doesn't stay. So you've got it the wrong way. So what you've got to do is open that up have it that way, rotate it around and make sure it's that way. Now there's a way to check because there's this little notch bit there. I don't know if you can actually see it where my finger is. There's a raised bit there. There isn't a raised bit at the other side. There's a kind of raised bit there. I don't know if you can actually see that. But there's a slight kind of raised bump there. So have it facing up the way towards that 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 pin there that way you know you'll have it right okay then try it again then have all that there keep it an angle this bit will just flop around let's see things don't lock in very well with this figure and then have it hook up there have it hook up there and there's no issue with it locking in it locks in it doesn't keep popping out. That what that way you'll know you have it in the right way around. Okay. Unless there's a QC issue with that grip uh, tab and it does it with that um it, it does like to pop out sometimes, sorry. But it does hold in better one way than the other. So just make sure you have it um the right way around with that tab facing towards that uh, hinge uh, pin, sorry, pin and you'll know it's right, it's 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 the side that it holds in better than the other way and that's basically you, you've got the figure there you try and get this locked in a bit better if you can you can slip it under there like that and it'll hold in better 
And that's Maverick. Now, I know people go on about this. Why is that? There's a tab there. It doesn't fit into that slot at the back there. But on this instructions, it's also got the head not slotted in at the back there. See the slot there? The head's not slotted in on that either. So I take it it's not supposed to fit in there. Even though there's a slot there and there's a tab at the back there, it's not supposed to go there because it's not showing that in the instructions right. Get the Try and get the hands out. There's the hands. Rotate that. Ah, bother trying to get these blooming hands out. Like that. Get the hands out. Rotate it like that. And that's the figure. If, if it holds. <laughs> and that. Oh, and one last thing is to do the shoulder sections. Lift them up. And there is Maverick in his robot mode. Again, because things don't clip in properly, it's not that great. Now, oh, yeah, one more last thing. Put the wings down. Like that. And there's Maverick in his robot mode. Like I said, less paint apps on it. And underneath the aircraft, it's just got zero paint apps. Oh, right. What we've got to do with them. They like to come off. You push this little tab there, it opens up and becomes his guns. So you can hold in his hand. You know, like that. And the same with the other one. Like that. You, it will focus in the background character and you open it up. And you can put it in his hand like that. And there he is. He's all gone up. Oh, yeah. Then you've got these. They just push on the back there like that. There's two tabs there, either side. One of them's a bit looser than the other one. But they do fit on there. So that you can have them like that. Okay. Right. Uh you can take these off and they do close up like that again take these off and they do close up they, they tend to ride off of that peg that they do snap back on it so there we go that's the missiles i don't think there's any way we can put the missiles on them when he's in that because it takes up the there's no way i can see you can actually put them onto and there's, there's no tabs on there to fit anywhere, so no, I'm not seeing anything, any way you could actually put these. I mean, there's, there's tabs there at the front. You could put them like that. It does look a bit stupid. I mean, that's the only holes on the figure that you can put this. There's no storage anywhere else. Uh, so you just set them aside. Or you can swap them out with them and put them up there. It's up to you. Right. Volleyball. I better do this quick. Now this is on a mushroom peg. You just take the... You, you remove the hand. Make sure it's got the right hand on it. And you just slide this hand on. If I can... There we go, and it can go left or right, and you get the volleyball, you just push it into the peg, it's quite tight, and he's holding the volleyball, there he is, they're holding the volleyball, of course you get one for the other hand if you prefer the other one, just the same, th just the same thing, take that off, put that on, and you can swap hands. I don't need to show them both, I showed one, and that's it, and you get a little motorcycle as well, you can put beside it, that's it. Um, articulation I'll show in a minute, um, I'll take that off. I'll just leave it on. 
on. All right. Um, I'll put this hand back on. There we go. So, size comparison first and then articulation. So, here he is with that other uh, gen Trilling 30 Generations Jetfire. Uh, that one's at a leader class. So, he's clearly not leader class sized. As you can see, he's leader class, he's not. So, it's probably uh, Voyager class. Okay, so it's probably Voyager class because you can see them there. And that's leader class, so see the difference in height. I'll put them again with a uh, leader class Ultra Magnus Siege. Now, this, now, the Siege stuff, leader class is smaller, as you can see. That's still taller, that's still taller still. So that's the old leader class, that's the Siege one, but he's still not quite that height. So. Um, there's that, and he is, I think he's taller than a deluxe, in case you think it's a deluxe, because I've got a deluxe uh, studio series, World War 2 or 1, um, Hot Rod, There's a, that's a deluxe figure, so he's bigger than a deluxe, so the next stage up, if it's not leader, is, Vo is Voyager, so he's definitely kind of Voyager class I would say. Okay, that's him standing right up and he's still taller than a deluxe. So that's basically what it is, if you want to class that, class size it. Right, articulation. He's got all the usual, back and forth. Well, the back is hindered by the wings, so you're not going to get a back motion. But you can move there, articulation there. You can rotate it to the upper elbow, you have to hold it, but you can. He's got up now, of course he's got the rotation in the he's got full rotation in the the fists, legs, can can do the splits, the KO, can move back and forth, can go that far back. It can actually. It's very stiff, but it can actually go that far back and forward. It does have an upper rotation. Again, at the leg, and it can go back and forth. So you get a good usual Transformer uh, Voyager class uh, uh, sized articulation. You get the same sort of articulation with this. Oh, and he does have a little bit of ankle tilt. It's just very slight. So you do get the ankle tiltage as well. So that is it. So that has been... I'll get it back to... Hold on, I'll get it back to... Um, to um, yeah, this does come off. You'll see that in all the video reviews of the figure. It, one of them does tend to come off. It's a bit looser. Um, so that's me. I'll get it quickly back to uh, jet mode, and we'll finish the review. Okay. So there it is. So overall thoughts: Is it worth getting uh, for the jet mode? If it wasn't for the it looks like it's been shoved through a printer uh, style pattern on it. You know, it does look like zzz, 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 zzz. Um, uh, it's debatable. I mean, it's been out a while. You've seen the reviews of other reviewers. You've probably made up your mind whether you're getting it or not. Uh, for the jet mode, I would say definitely it's worth getting. But the robot mode, no, because it's lack of paint apps. Parts don't tab in properly together. They just rely on uh, stiff friction joints and they are stiff I will give it that and um, things like that and the back getting the back all thing went right, right, round the right way and the arms round the right way to lock things in it's it's weird it's totally weird because you don't know which way around to put to put it <laughs> um, it's just trial and error so yes for the for the jet mode if you like Tomcats like I showed the jet fire Although that jet fire is a lot better than this, I must say, and and things do lock in there better. And uh, if you like the Tomcat, yes, I would definitely keep it in that mode. 
it's a robot mode. It doesn't need a lot of work. I mean, even if Repro Labels comes out and puts stickers all over it, it'll be good. Oh, the one bit I did miss is you can fold the tail wings up in a robot mode. I did miss that out, sorry. Uh, it was a miss. It was a step I, didn't, uh, I did miss. And the QC issue, as well as things don't lock in, is one of these are actually very loose, which you'll see other reviewers complaining about. One of them is very loose. So just be careful of that. But yes... That's it, that's, that's uh, Transformers crossover Top Gun Maverick. Okay, right, uh, one other thing. I don't know what my work situation is like this year or whatever, so I might not be doing many reviews, but I'll try and do a retro review, retro review using a retro filter, 80s type filter, like it's done in an 80s style camcorder. I've managed to get an app that can recreate that, so I'll try that. I know you'll say, oh, my 90s figure about the 80s. Why have you got an 80s filter on it? But I'm just going to try it. There might be a few figures I've got in, in my collection from way back then I haven't uh, reviewed. So I might do that to just put content out there. I haven't been doing it for a long while because of COVID, lack of employment, that sort of stuff. So um, uh, I, I was going to get gigawatt, but because of COVID, things are not open properly to go in and get the figure off the shelves. So, uh, kind of, I know I could get it online, but I just haven't again. So, uh, there's that. So, I've been, and what time's that? Yeah, was, this thing's going to uh, cut off in a second. So, that's it for the now. I haven't disappeared. I haven't totally, you know, uh, left the planet. I've just, uh, there's not been much to review, but I will dig out any back figures and try, maybe next week, try and do that retro style with that retro filter on it and see how it is. I'll try one and see how it does, if I can dig out a figure that I haven't reviewed before. It's in my list of view that I haven't covered. It might have, might have appeared in a video, but I haven't done a proper video review of it. And of course, I won't have the box from them. It'll just be the figure itself, and we'll have the instructions for it probably, and the accessories, so it'll just be that. Um, so we'll try it. We'll try one anyway, right, and see how it goes. But that's next week sometime. Can't say when specifically. It might be sometime next week, so look for that. Now, you can't comment on these because of copper. You know, I have to put them, they're made for kit for children. So unfortunately you can't, and YouTube the way it is doesn't notify you, so you just have to manually check that these videos or the next one next week that I'm going to try comes out. Okay, so I know you can't comment, but you can do a thumbs up or thumbs down. That's it, but unfortunately you can't comment within the videos. Not that many people do in my videos anyway, but you can't comment because of the whole copper issue or thing. So... That's that. I know a lot of you have been with me a long time, know this already, but for new viewers, I'm just, you know, I'm just mentioning that. So there we go. So that's me. I haven't disappeared. I'm still here. Uh, I'll try that one next week, see how it goes at some point, and we'll take it from there. If there's any other figures in my collection I haven't reviewed in the past. I'll try and do another one of those. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so take care. If you want this, it's out there. Kapow. It took a while to get there. The film's not out yet, so there could be delays or other viewers have got it through other sources, so there's ways to get the figure. But yeah, I do I do like the jet mode more than the robot mode. It looks a bit plain, and uh, no pun intended. But unless rep, Repro Labels comes out with things to stick it all up to look at be make it look better, it's going to look pretty plain and, again, no pun intended, in robot mode. So there we go. Right, that's me. I better end this before it cuts out anyway. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye.